Hi, it's Dr. J here. Today we're going to be doing a video on sinus flushing and nebulizing. Again, I have some longer form content. We'll put some recommendations and links and any products that we talk about, I'll put it down below. This will be kind of a shorter, more abridged video and you can see the more longer stuff down the road. So first thing is we have nebulizers. These are wonderful tools to get support into our lungs to help with inflammation, to help with stress. First thing first is really good nebulizers. Excellent. Make sure you clean it. Recommend a 3% food grade hydrogen peroxide, run it through it for three to five minutes. That should clean anything that's in there out, any mold, any junk, it'll help. So make sure it's clean. Number one, use a really good carrier sterile saline that's meant for nebulizers. People may use distilled water or RO water. That may be okay, but the issue is you just can't guarantee it. And plus it's not pH balance. Good sterile saline is going to be pH balanced with sodium chloride and bicarbonate. And it'll be really good for your lungs. It'll feel good. It won't irritate it. So you could, these are five ml blister packs. We'll put links down for specific nebulizer saline. So we'll add that saline in. Very simple. And then that's going to be our carrier. So we can do a couple of things. Here's my reduced glutathione I like. I've already added it in. You open a capsule up, put it into this guy like this. It'll bubble. It's just reduced glutathione and sodium bicarb. When it's closed, you can kind of, you can shake it up. And then guess what? Push the button and I can... It's coming out just like that, vaporize. And you can breathe it and you can get it right down into your lungs, which is great. So that's how it looks just like that. Great carrier. And again, this is not medical advice. If you have a chronic lung issue, lung infection, please go to your medical doctor. Again, this is purely for entertainment just to kind of give you guys some things to, to think about. Uh, I'll put a couple of links in for some studies. A lot of this, this data is going to be more anecdotal, right? Uh, a lot of clinicians have done protocols like this for years. Hydrogen peroxide has been used in the saline, in, the, in nebulizer form or even orally for a long period of time. If we do nebulizer for hydrogen peroxide, we want to keep it at a 0.1%. Where most people have side effects or problems are because they are not using a good, high-quality sterile saline, number one. They're not cleaning their nebulizer out. And two, they may be adding too much peroxide going to a, a 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.1. You know, if it's spicy and irritating, it's a problem. So you want to keep it down to about 0.1%. So if you're doing two blister packs, boom, boom, that's seven drops of 3% hydrogen peroxide food grade. You don't want the one from the drugstore. That's going to have some stabilizers in it. If you put it in your body or in your nose, you want food grade. If you're just using it for mouthwash or flushing or topical, not a big deal. Drugstore kind is fine. If not, go with the food grade for flushing your nose or for nebulizing. So you can use your carrier. I put glutathione in one. Now you can just do one session of that, five, 10 minutes. Uh, you could also use a different day, a different session. You could do um, silver. We can do a high quality silver in there. One ml of, sal of silver, which is already 99.9% .9 saline. When you're adding it to more saline, very helpful, very harmonious for your lungs. You could also add in um, NAC. So there's a medication that's been out for cystic fibrosis kids and people for a long time uh, called Mucamist. It's got basically NAC in a 3 to 10% solution. So you can kind of mimic that on your own with a three to 500 milligrams of NAC. Make sure it's the highest quality kind. If you can get it compounded, great, or make sure it's sterile. Clean NAC is awesome. No extra excipients in it. You can mix it with 10 mLs of saline, put it in your little hopper here, shake it up, and then you basically mirror that solution. The key is good quality sterile saline. Make sure your nebulizer is good. Breathe it in. You can also take your NAC orally. Very helpful on that front as well. And so you got your NAC, you got your hydrogen peroxide, or you have your silver, uh, and then you can also add in your reduced glutathione. NAC is wonderful when you have a lot of mucus. There are studies on NAC and reduced glutathione, or I should say glutathione nebulizing for all kinds of chronic inflammatory conditions. There are some studies on that for sure. So there's more studies on that, less on the hydrogen peroxide, less on the silver, but definitely on the NAC and the glutathione. So I just want to give you guys some options and things to think about. Again, Sinus flushing is really good too. I'll do another video on sinus flushing. Um, I have a more compendium video of everything combined so you guys can get everything in a one-stop shop. But if you guys want to dive in, if you want more support from me on this or other chronic health issues and really focus on getting to the root cause, there'll be links down below. All right, guys, have an awesome day. Take care, y'all.